So in this topic, I am going to describe the uh, procedure for swapping cluster services on a single node or on all nodes in a cluster by using the CSPOC. Or we can use the other uh, other tools like uh, system uh, Smith HCMP or Smith uh, CL underscore admin or Smith CL start. So we can use any of these commands. Uh, here are the commands. Those commands. Smith HCMP. Here we need to select system management CSPOC menu. And you can directly go to Cisbog by using CL underscore admin or with Cisbog. These two commands will go directly to the system management Cisbog menu. Or you can, if you want to directly go to the CL stop menu, CL stop, you can run you can this command. Uh, before stopping the cluster services, so we will verify the uh, <coughs> cluster services. CL show. SRB hyphen B. This option will show the all the services information as status like uh, is the act, uh, active or inoperative. SRB hyphen B. And these are all the options. These are all the uh, this is the status of the cluster. And one is inoperative. And that is uh, your PGLS SSL. Now uh, we will take the Different options here. But we'll go with with HCMP. With HCMP. Uh, here go to system management, CSPOC, and select HCMP services, and then select the uh, desired value here. So we have uh, start cluster services, stop cluster services, and show cluster services. So our task is uh, to stop the cluster services here. Uh, press uh, select the stop cluster services and press enter. Here we have three or uh, four options. We will check uh, with the uh, remaining commands also. Now uh, we will go with Smith CL underscore admin. So we are, I already told that CL underscore admin, it will open the system manager C4. If you uh, run the command system uh, with C4, so you will get same uh, system, CISPOC, uh, system management CISPOC. so you can uh, use any of these command so mm -hmm. later we can go to the system manager CISPOC and then go to the HCMP services enter and select the stop process services and another command is uh, you can say password to directly uh, go to the CL stop stop process services so stop process services here have the options. Let's will go to the this uh, this field. Stop now on system restart or both. So press escape four. Uh, here we have three options now restart and both. So now means it will uh, stop the cluster services now itself. If you select restart, it will not start the services after system reboot. So and it will remove the entry from the etc init app file. If we select both, it will stop the cluster service now, and it won't start the services after system reboot. It will uh, delete the uh, entry in the etc init app file to start the cluster services. Uh, here I am going to select now. Let's enter, and then uh, stop cluster service, uh, services on these nodes. So here you can select multiple nodes or you can select one node in the cluster. Uh, HA node 1 and HA node 2 also participate here. Uh, if you want to select multiple nodes, F7, press F7. And go to the next one and press F7. And then press enter. So it will stop the services on both the nodes. Now I am not going to stop on both. I am going to stop on HA node 2. We can here uh, one more thing we can stop the cluster services on any node in the cluster from any machine. So that means uh, in a H from H node one I can stop the services on H node two. From H node two I can stop the cluster services on H node one by using the system system management system. So next to broadcast message uh, cluster shutdown. So you select this option. So it walls uh, it uses wall command to broadcast stop. It will uh, send message to the login users. So this uh, system is going to stop the cluster services. Please save your work. You will get such type of messages. And 
important thing is select an action on the resource groups. So by default, it is bring resource group offline. So press uh, F4. So these are the three options uh, we can. These are three actions we can select here: bring resource group offline, move resource groups, unmanage resource groups. So bring resource groups offline means it will stop the cluster services and uh, it will stop the resource group. That means there is no follower. So if we select this option, so the application uh, will down. And if you select move resource group, uh, in move resource group, it first it will move the resources uh, resources uh, to the next uh, available node, and then it will stop the cluster services. So here in this case, the application will be available. If you select unmanage resource group, uh, it will start. It won't stop the resource group. That means applications is a application is a part of resource group. Application is a resource. It is a part of resource group. It won't stop the application. It stops only the cluster services. So this is the unmanaged resource group uh, option. So here now I am going to select the bring resource group offline because here uh, there is no resource group here. So I can select this one. Now once you select all the options, verify once again. And press enter to run the command. So it's not touching messages to root edge node. Now it stops the cluster services. And this is the command CL stop all with black hyphen and hyphen G. Okay, let's check. Uh, status of the cluster services. CL show SRV hyphen V. Now it's all or in operator.